Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch, musician, and music teacher living in Seattle. This video is for Joe. Joe is a tier five Patreon member, which includes the benefits of choosing any piece of music to be featured on the main YouTube channel once per month. That's what we're doing right now. Joe has picked Soko Niraru Teno Hira De Adoru, the official music video. I'm excited for this. Let's go. Okay, Matt, what a great intro. The first 28 seconds blow my mind. Uh, I love groups like this. So many chops, so many things to say. That The drumming on the cross stick, I'm going to go back because I want the intro again. I love the drumming on the cross stick sound. I like the interaction of bass. And then there's some ridiculous fill that happened right there at the end. But there's some sick drum fills in the beginning. I just need this again. The other thing I will say about that intro is the timbre, the guitar. It, so it totally sounds like white noise, like almost like TV static, but not in a bad way, but in a good way. But you can hear it, how it shifts up like a half step there. It's just really fun setting that tonality. <laughs> Wow, beautiful. The interaction between guitar guitar and like a bass are doubling at times, but the interaction between drums and that is so good. I love these kind of trios. You're standing like four feet from each other. Everyone can play like big time. We got chops. And that drum fill that just happened, there was like a bunch of like uh, drumming on the rim that went over the guitar line, the guitar and bass line. Go back 10 seconds to grab that. <laughs> That's on me. I love groups like this. Jaku, paku, 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 coming out of that. Okay, if we were to subtract the drum track, turn the drums all the way down, the interaction, the vocal style, chord progression, stuff's going on between guitar and bass, it is would sound like a J-pop song. This drummer is just flexing the whole time in a very good way and makes this song so freaking interesting. Uh, I'm going to go back 20, 25, probably 30 seconds. Sorry for rewinding. I mean, not really sorry because this is amazing music. Just pay attention to how many like linear passages that are going around the drums here and making this so freaking interesting. <laughs> It's fun. Uh, it's like, it goes against, like, a lot of times when you start learning your instruments and how you interact with other musicians, your role often as a drummer is really just to lock in with the bass player, and that's where you're going to be, and same with the bass player to you. But this is a different, this is for a different taste, right? This is for people that have a more uh, a busy, they like busy sounds. Because a lot of people, I think, will listen to this and be like, what? there's too much going on. Like, there's too many different rhythms. There's too many uh, juxtapositions on top of each other. And then the drummer's, like, kind of switching out styles here and there in between. But... For my ears, I love it, but I totally get that not everyone would like this. But you also got to respect the competency on the instrument because it's a high level. All right, back five. Let's keep going.
Okay, I'm sorry to keep stopping, but cool harmonization. And then in, what's going on, man? Who thought up these compositional ideas? I love it. that whole time i was like must, must resist, resist pause ah oh, dude there is so much going on i went back 20 seconds uh the big 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 the section where we're splitting all the six couplet stuff between uh two hands two feet super thick sound man <laughs> Slow down, obviously. And then wing those little bends. And did you hear the one note little staccato section where where I stopped previously and it was like just a bass note? This time it was like a distorted harmony in the voice. There's a lot. You got to sit down and create roadmaps like this and be like, all right, what can we fit in here? You're gonna have to rehearse the crap out of that because everything is happening uh, so quick. That's really fun. Back five. Uh, what? Boobot, do you got, do got, go, 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 Was that just a straight? Are we, hold on, I'll go back 10 here for this little switch. No, what was that, dude? Hold on, one more time. Uh, I just feel like we just pulled back. It wasn't da ga da ga da ga da ga. It was like diga go ga go ga go ga. Just we just pulled back on our interpretation, whatever grouping of notes that was to get us in. Definitely was not. I was like clicking four four straight through. It comes in like on the end of four to the next bar. So probably it's maybe it's a seven eight bar. I'm not totally sure, but who cares? The important part is is that they gave that to us. That is great composition in my opinion. I just I really love listening to stuff. Back five. I promise we'll go on. What a sick little idea with the, the the tap on the hammer on bass, Phil, against those ride bell patterns. Okay, this is probably my favorite song of 2023 easily so far. Wow. Uh, I want to get that bass section. We'll go back 15 seconds here. Okay, outside of one of the Chainsaw Man endings, I've never heard a song feature so many switch ups and like momentary, uh, almost style changes, cool plays with rhythm, epic melodic content, and good chord structure. Like, 
This is cool. More of these, man. Joe, seriously, you got really good taste in music, man. I absolutely love this. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch. Make sure to catch me live so you can let me know what you think about this piece of music. You can find the link to my Twitch channel in the video description below, as well as the Discord. If you'd like to support me, my Patreon information is also down there. Click that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next video upload. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate you. Take it easy. Bye-bye.